Yeah. Hello. How are you doing today? Okay, we will continue with our tutorial case and um, today we'll be running a simulation on the um, on cooler. Okay, I'll be showing you how to simulate your um, cooler. Okay, if you come to the object pilot, let's just navigate around the object pilot to see how it works. Now, on the object pilot, you see common, you have common um, unit operations, you have columns, you have custom, you have um, upstream, you have refining. Okay. The most of our everyday unit operation, apart from um, distillation, absorber, reflux absorber, every other unit operation are all under common. All right. So now look at this. This is our cooler. Let me bring it out. It's the same way of adding stream. You just click and drop, or you double click. All right. So let let me see okay this is a pure gas this stream is a pure gas this is also a pure gas and um, this is a liquid okay so a cooler is used to reduce the temperature of a feed stream so in aspen high seas we don't have all the unit operations on earth in Aspen Isis. There was a job I did um, some some months back, about a year and six months ago. I worked on a MOSI dehydration unit. In Aspen Isis, there's nothing like MOSI, MOSI dehydration. But what you do is you look out for a unit operation that have the same or similar operating principle. You try and find out the unit you're, you're designing, try and find out how it operates. And in high seas, look out for a unit operation that have similar um, operating principles. Then you can use it to model um, whatever you want to model. Now, what am I trying to say in essence? The cooler can be used to model a condenser. Now, what's the function of a condenser? When you're condensing vapor, your aim is to bring it from the vapor phase to the liquid phase. Am I correct? okay so this can be used to condense this gas to cool this gas all right so what do i need to do what do i need to do if okay what i need to do is to double click on this okay once you double click on it it will open this interface like i told you in our i think that should be our first or our second class that high seas is interactive okay it tells you what you've not done it tells you what to do now look at this it, says it requires a fit stream so the inlet stream needs to be defined what's our inlet stream let's work with stream one okay when you click on this drop drop line you see all the streams you have so i click on stream one outlet stream i need to define a new stream i can call it stream four just come to outlet stream and type on four okay then i can click anywhere around here I've, I've succeeded in creating an additional stream now it says requires an energy stream this energy stream will tell you the amount of energy that will be leaving this system or the amount of energy that will be removed from the incoming stream so i need to define it i need to write something on the energy stream i need to give it a name so i can call this con q okay q for heat q for um con for condenser or you can call it cool q depending what you're using it to model okay and um it doesn't have um, a particular routine of naming your energy stream just try and name it um in such a way that you understand what you're doing and um, that you can be able to track it along the line okay now the next information we have here is unknown delta p so we need to define our delta p so it's either you know your delta p or you know the pressure of the outgoing stream so if you want to impute your delta p you click on parameters you see delta p so what do i need to do 
I'll define my delta P. So let's assume my change in pressure is 5 kilopascal. Okay, 5 kilopascal. Click on here, it's an unknown duty. Now, meaning we have to, it's either we know the duty, the amount of energy we want to remove from the incoming stream, or we know the delta T, or we know the specific temperature we want to reduce this stream to. So let's assume we know the specific temperature. So go to worksheets. Let's assume we want to cool this particular stream, stream one to um, stream four with a temperature of, of um, minus five degrees Celsius. Minus five degrees Celsius. Okay, minus five degrees Celsius. Okay, so we've been able to reduce stream one that was initially pure gas to a mist phase. Okay, now if we keep reducing this temperature, the phase we keep reducing, the phase we keep changing. Okay, the phase we keep changing. So let's assume I want to turn this to pure liquid. Let me see if I can change it to pure liquid. So at a temperature of minus 60, minus 160, minus 160 degrees celsius we are bound to have pure liquid so i've succeeded in moving stream one temperature to um that that was purely vapor to liquid phase so i condensed it from a temperature of 25 degrees celsius to minus 160 degrees celsius so that is how to model your cooler okay now, let me show you how to arrange your work to make your work look neat. Okay? This is not straight, so I can click it and make it straight. Okay? Can click and take it up a little. Alright? Now, for me to reduce this temperature, for me to decrease this temperature from 25 degrees Celsius to minus 160, okay? this particular system this particular unit operation has to operate at a power of 498.3 kilowatts and the heat flow the amount of heat that will be removed from stream one will be 1.794 exponential 6 kilojoule per, per hour okay so this is how to check the energy that is given out from your system okay so this is the energy stream just Place your cursor on the energy stream. You see your heat flow, the amount of heat that we're living, and you also see um, the amount of power that is needed to work on the system. So that's all about simulating a cooler. I guess this has really helped you. So in our next class, we'll consider how to simulate um, a heater. I will keep on going like that so we're able to cover enough ground. Thank you for your time.